A closer look at what investigators discovered inside a daycare in the Bronx where a child died from fentanyl exposure. These photos from new court documents show some of the 40 pounds of drugs that were discovered inside that daycare and an unopened package of the overdose reversal drug Narcan. Three suspects all appeared in court today facing charges stemming from the death. The victim's families also there hoping to get some closure. Now, when news reporter Marcus Solis is live in the Melrose section of the Bronx with the very latest. Marcus. <laughs> And Liz, as you know, these three suspects are also facing federal drug conspiracy charges, but they were in the Bronx today on charges of murder, assault, child endangerment, what the district attorney calls the human side of the case. Shackled at the hands and feet and surrounded by a phalanx of court officers, the operators of the daycare center were arraigned today. The sight of Gray Mendez, the woman who ran the facility, drew wells of grief from the family of the victims and afterwards outrage from the district attorney. This was not really a daycare center. This was a drugs operation, and they used babies as a shield. Three weeks ago, 22-month-old Nicholas Dominici died of fentanyl exposure. Three other children were sickened at Divino Nino on Morris Avenue. Today, prosecutors released new images of the room with a gray padded mat where children would play and nap, under which police discovered a trapdoor hiding six kilos of fentanyl, heroin, and drug packaging materials. At times nearly overcome by emotion, Nicholas's father says he felt especially betrayed by Mendez, who he says would text pictures of the children throughout the day. She keep off updated on everything happened every single day on the daycare. We never imagined this going to happen. Mendez is charged with murder with depraved indifference, as is her husband, Felix Herrera Garcia, who was arrested in Mexico. His cousin, Carlisto Brito, is also named in the same 20 count indictment on state charges. In addition, the three are facing federal drug charges. Meantime, the DA says she plans to investigate the licensing of other home based daycare centers. How is it determined that people can open up these home daycare centers? There are regulations, rules, licensing. I'm going to look into all of those things to see, are there any gaps? And the district attorney says the operators of the daycare are well aware of the dangers involved. Narcan city issued and a city issued kit was found in a bathroom and the brother of one of the suspects, the man who was arrested in Mexico, his own brother had previously died of a fentanyl overdose.